Skylum Software's Luminary Neo has just added a neon and glow effect to their library and all their tools, which is a great one. I'm going to show you how to use it in Photoshop with text today. Let's go. All right, we've got this old brick wall here. Let's light it up with some neon. First, we'll grab our text. And we got to make sure that it's white. I'm using 75 point and Comic Sans. And we're going to call somebody Rockstar. Now, hit your V key. And we'll kind of move it into the middle. Now, we'll go down here and create a solid color adjustment layer. Make sure it's black with all zeros here. And we'll put it underneath the text. Now, we'll grab both layers. Right-click, Merge Layers. Now, let's go into Filter, Skylum, and Luminar Neo. We'll go under Edit. And under Creative, we'll go to Neon and Glow. Now, we'll make the amount about 50 while it does its thing. Now, in this example, I just want the neon to surround the text. So, we'll make it about 50 if you didn't already. And the indent, let's make 25. Now, the neon is surrounding the text, which looks really cool. So, hit Apply. Once we're back in Photoshop, take the layer and change its blend mode to screen. And there you have it. We've got it in Photoshop. Now you can move it around, transform it, make it smaller or larger, or right click and warp it. Let's put a grid on there and All right. you can do anything you want with it now. All right. All right, this is the second example with our text. We're gonna try a font called Casidio. We'll keep everything else the same and we'll type happy birthday. We'll kind of move it in the center here and we'll do the same thing. Solid color adjustment layer, make sure it's black. We'll put it underneath. We'll merge those two layers. And go back under Filter, Skylum, and Neon Luminar Neo. Edit, Creative, and Neon and Glow. Now, this time, we're only going to make the amount 25. Now, in this example, I wanted the Neon and Glow to hug the text. So, I'll make the amount 25 and the indent at five. As you can see, it's hugging the text. Looking pretty cool. Let's change it to green. Move the slider over. Maybe reduce the whites a bit or bring them up, whatever you wish. Apply. Change your blend mode to screen. And now we've got happy birthday. Once again, you can move it around, do whatever you wish. All right, in this final example, we'll grab some text and we'll change the font to something weird. We'll change the font to After Serif. It's Valentine's Day, so what do you want to do? I love you. I'm gonna move it to the center of the screen. Again, solid color, make sure it's black. Put it underneath, merge the two layers. Filter, Skylum Software, Luminar Neo. Edit, Creative, Neon and Glow. Let's bring up the amount to 50. Let the AI do its thing. Now this time, in this example, I want the Neon and Glow to be behind the text. First, let's make it red. Nice red for Valentine's Day. The amount will be 50, and the indent will be minus 10. And as you can see now, it's all behind it. You can adjust your white or do whatever you wish to it. Hit Apply. Change your blend mode. And voila. 
Another great one here to put on this wall. As you can see with the three examples here today, the neon glow surrounds the rock stars. The hugging one is the happy birthday where it's hugging the text. And the last one is where the neon glow is behind the text. Well, there you have it. Luminar Neo is a plugin in Photoshop for text. Pretty cool stuff. I haven't tried every font in the history of mankind, so I don't know how they're going to work out. But this looks really cool and has some promise. If this tutorial helped you at all, please like and subscribe. You won't break a nail. I'm done from 40911. See ya.